uh, mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. So it's, it produces ATP, which is energy. Now, in a lot of neurological conditions, um, inflammatory conditions, rheumatological conditions, even orthopedic conditions, the primary problem is inflammation. So when there is inflammation, you have a whole inflammatory cascade, you have swelling at the site of injury, and that results in pain. Now, pain is uh, interpreted at the peripheral level, which is at the site of injury, as well as the central level. That's why we all have a different pain threshold. So in the brain. Absolutely. That's what I mean by central. For now, we're going to be focusing on the peripheral um, uh, pain pathways, and this is why we focus on, for example, on the example in the lower back. So that the light is emitted to those areas at a specific wavelength, and because there is inflamed tissues with a whole lot of inflammatory cytokines, which result in the swelling and the pain signals, this is then absorbed by the mitochondria, which are then switched on. The mitochondria are switched off in the state of inflammation. So once you switch the mitochondria on, automatically you have increased um, uh, ATP production. So that means it's a powerhouse cell, so you get more power. Once you put, switch on the mitochondria, this results in a whole cascade of events chemically at the cellular level, which means that you now introduce improved blood flow, there's improved growth factors, and this can be across the board. Cartilage growth factors, bone growth factors, nerve growth factors, vessel growth factors, and that improves blood flow. You improve blood flow to a specific region. What are you doing? You're making it better. And there's medical research behind it. Absolutely. This has come from clinical studies. So, uh, did you have special training to do this? Because it's not really common in South Africa yet. Right? No, it's not common in South Africa, but there is a training that you have to be certified for before you can administer the laser therapy. And there's a whole lot of literature that you have to go through to understand the concepts of this type of therapy and how to administer the therapy. So, Dr. Bunjin, at the start of the show, I just mentioned you know, some of the areas like sports and soft tissue injuries or repetitive stress injuries, for example. What are some of uh, the conditions uh, that could be treated using this bioflex laser therapy? You see, this all started off in a rehabilitation center. So it started off with a lot of rehabilitation and sporting injuries. For example, if you look at uh, on YouTube, there's a lot of uh, basketball injuries, baseball injuries, and they all miraculously got better after a couple of sessions. And the reason behind this is because they need the players back on the field. So this was then taken to a different level when they started uh, um, uh, noticing that patients were improving very quickly. Um, they looked at the mitochondrial dysfunction and started applying it to other conditions. And I'll give you an example. In neurology, we have uh, patients who have, for example, post-hepatic neuralgia, which is a severe pain that you develop from a shingles infection. We all know about it, excruciating pain. And this is usually a chronic persistent pain. It, doesn't, it never goes away. Now, if I tell you that I have currently uh, a middle-aged lady who has had 14 treatments since November and is now pain-free. And it's all due to the laser. All due therapy. to the laser.